What's up guys? My name is Flight Zero. Welcome back to another tutorial. This is going to be the first master class tutorial and it's not really a master class topic nor is it a basic topic. I think it's just something important that all FL Studio users should know. So if you don't know this already, uh with the how to speed up your what you wanna call it? Yeah, let's just open a project here. All right, so once we have this project open, it's going to be official speed test of, yeah, there we go. So as you can see, my CPU meter is flashing between 0 and 75. Let's watch what happens when I hit play. Yep, and it's Already, that's lagging, but let's just push it up a bit just to see what happens. Let's amp it up. CPU 101. Now that's an issue, right? You know, you're wondering, wow, I have such a powerful computer. Why isn't this doing anything? Well, that's probably because uh, two reasons. First reason is you're on, if you go into options, audio settings, you're probably on the primary sound driver and you don't want to be there because the primary sound driver is crap. You want to be AZ overall or FL Studio AZ. I use FL Studio in particular. And as you can see now, our CPU is now run smoothly. It's still running kind of high on CPU. There's also another way to stop that. So while it's playing, you can go to, not even while it's playing, just go to Tools, Macros, and Purge Unused Audio Clips. This will take a few seconds. And also go to switch smart disable for all plugins. So basically, what that will do is now, as you can see, my CPU went down from averaging about 30 to like 3. Still kind of running the same, but it makes your workspace a little bit easier. So, you know. And if you're having further issues with your speed, so if you're not as quite as a perform performance computer as you thought you do, uh, you can always go down and shut your Wi-Fi off. In my case, I'm not going to do that because, you know, it can stay on for me. Um, and I'm sure you all know how to do that, whether you're on your Mac, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can also close up unnecessary background apps like this side sync close that there's no need to have that open you can close all these useless background apps that don't really serve any purpose at all to be running in the background and another thing you can do so uh, just go to task manager and if you have anything else open that will probably be doing the trick there. So, as you can see, I only have Bandicam as well as FLC open. And you can also scroll down to your background processes. I wouldn't really mess around with this stuff though. Uh, and it'll highlight the ones that are taking up a lot. But don't mess around with the background processes. You'd just be better off with apps. And you can also go to do startup. Uh, this This will just essentially make your startup speed much quicker I guess it'll also prevent anything from running in the background um, so yeah that's actually it uh, you can also take 
you got your own CPU meter here, you got everything, you got this, you got all that stuff. And as you can see, I'm running an i7. So, and it's doing pretty well right now. So, ah, uh, so thank, thank you guys for watching. And have something around a nice day, evening. Whenever you're watching this, remember to hit that like button and that subscribe button. And then you will be happy as can be. I will try and upload a new tutorial every day, at least one per day. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.